All right, today I'm changing out a dimmer switch, getting rid of it, and power's live, so you need to be careful. Warning, do not touch anything unless you know exactly what you are doing. And it's probably a good idea to turn out the power to do this. The dimmer pulls off here. It's always better to turn out the breaker, but gonna show you how to do it live because the there are some here. instances where that may and be necessary. Behind that and if you do work with it live, you want to use insulated tools and you want to make sure your hands only touch the insulated portions of the tools ever. You never want to touch the metal portion because that will conduct the electricity. Usually wire netted. The hot usually comes in on the bottom of a switch, so that's your line. And the load is usually the top of the switch. And that's your load. And the load is your light or whatnot. So this one looks like this top one's the line. This one is the load. The way I know that is that there are all these bank of outlets is wire netted. Where the load wires go to the bottom of each switch. There's disconnecting the light. And now here's the load on top. So I won't have power in the top one, only in the bottom one. These will be quick line so the top one won't have power but again it's always yeah. just better and safer to turn off the power so I can plug in that one easily okay and then now I can plug in the bottom one when I'm touching the wire I'm only touching the insulated portion of the wire safest way to do it but knowing that there's power there it's just you work differently knowing that there's power and better to turn off the breaker but that's how you could do it it's done deal I'll just kind of evenly space these. All right. And now is our deal, which a couple of these small screws dropped. Those. This was replacing a rocker switch, replacing a dimmer switch with a rocker switch on a three gang plate outlet. And it looks like this one needs a bit of cleanup as well. So we'll address that and straighten things out. Make it all work like it's supposed to. ceiling fan behind me that'll help cool things down a little bit replaced the compressor yesterday it was 119 degrees so crazy the compressor was kind of upside down or I had to hang up upside down because it was a newer Goodman condenser Okay, now if this is crooked, sitting a little sideways, you can just take the flat part, push it over like that. There we go. Nice and straight. One good idea when right working with electricity is always to turn off the breaker, but practice, pretend that it's always so live so that you understand up. how the power is flowing and protecting yourself. Easy by using insulated tools. Just good practice to better. pretend that it's always live, even when you turn off the power.
it'll help you develop good habits. Maybe. And in some situations, it could spare one. your life or could spare you harm. I have to change that rocker. Right. And I just if you work with electricity long enough, it's easy for something to go wrong. Let's see if it'll clean up. But anyway, now you know how to do it. You could change it out. It's scratched. It's an easy one. Might have to push in a little quick release and pull out the tag. Again, it's just best and safest to go ahead and turn off the power. Where you are turning off the power, you'll want to practice lockout and tagout procedures. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross. And he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't, don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. Now call out to him today. Don't wait. The time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. but. Be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So put your trust in Him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because He is the Lamb the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.